everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. I've been so lucky this month with Dolls Kill. They have sent me so much stuff. I posted the Delius haul, I posted the Current Mood haul, the Sugar Thrills haul, and now we have an ugly Christmas sweater haul. I'm so excited about these items, but unfortunately, as you guys know, Christmas is in a couple of days, so I don't think if you purchase any of these things now, I don't think that you're going to get them in time for Christmas, especially if you're overseas, if you're not based in America. If they have sales after Christmas, maybe you can pick up some of these things for next year. But uh, anyway, there's, I think I have seven ugly Christmas sweaters here, and I'm going to a Christmas party tonight, and I'm trying to figure out, do I want to dress sort of classy and nice, you know, maybe wear this, or... Do I want to wear a horrid, ghastly Christmas sweater just for, for fun, you know? Uh, so this video is kind of doubling as me getting ready for this evening, but it's also me showing you guys some fun Christmas sweaters. Now, I know guys, I've been posting a lot of really similar content over the past few weeks, and going into next year, my goal is I really want to switch it up and make some interesting, fun, engaging, different content for you. But I just have a couple of haul videos to finish out the year with, so this is just going to be a little tiny bit different. I'm going to try some of these sweaters on and give you some recommendations as to how I might style them because like I said I might be wearing one tonight. It's summer here in Australia. I know for my friends overseas a lot of you guys cannot even fathom a Christmas where it's not snowing but it is stinking stinking hot here in Australia but luckily it's a bit windy outside and overcast. So I think I can get away with wearing the sweaters tonight, but just bear in mind I'm not dressing for really extremely cold weather. Uh, as an as an Aussie, we melt here every single Christmas. Our, our Christmases are just kind of us sitting on the beach, sweating away with a beer in our hands. But aside from that, tonight's Christmas party, I don't know, am I going to be elegant? Am I going to be ugly Christmas sweaters? We're about to find out. I'm just going to jump straight into it. The first sweater that I have here is this grey one. Now this is a 40 US dollar sweater. A lot of these sweaters are around that sort of price range. I was a little bit skeptical. I thought to myself, gee, that's expensive. And uh, I'm not going to lie, that is expensive. And it does just feel like a standard kind of sweater. But I guess what you're paying for is the interesting and unique design that you're not going to find anywhere else. So this one is a resting Grinch face. Yes, that's right. That's basically me. If I was the Grinch, at least I'd be green, huh? Okay, so I've just paired this first sweater with this little pink skirt from Romwe. I wanted to keep it sort of toned down, kind of cool tones, that's why it's kind of like a dusty pink to sort of match the grey. Now, I originally wanted to tuck this in, but I don't want to cover the text. I want you to be able to read that I have a resting Grinch face. I mean, I know you can just see it when you take one look at me, but I want you to also read it. So I figured I could just sort of loosely tuck it in here, and then that way you can still read what's on it. Now, if it's cold, you can always put on stockings, a matching scarf, but for me, I think in this sort of weather at night in Australia, I would be okay wearing a long sleeved top and a short skirt. It's warm, but it's more of a light knit. So that's why I could get away with going out and to give you an idea, it's like 32 degrees outside during the daytime here, which is this many degrees in Fahrenheit. I just really like how this one is kind of neutral, easygoing. I feel like grey can match so many things. You could wear a white skirt, you could wear blue jeans, you could wear black jeans, you could wear stockings and whatever. I feel like this is just really, really easy to match with anything. So this one, for $40, I think that's a little bit overpriced for what it is, but it is still, I mean, resting Grinch face. Gotta love it. <laughs> this next one is another $40 sweater. This one, it just says, this is my ugly sweater. Just telling it like it is. <laughs> this one feels a fair bit warmer than this one. They look similar, like in terms of knit, but I can definitely tell by holding it that this one is a lot a lot, I guess maybe like the knit is tighter and that's probably why it feels heavier and warmer. I, I'm not a fabric expert, uh, <laughs> but anyway, let's pop this one on. Okay, so I've just paired this one with a little tartan skirt from Unazi. I did this because, you know, the red, white and green, it just matches perfectly with a classic sort of Scottish looking tartan. For my Christmas party, it is a, a more mature Christmas party, it's not a, a young Christmas party that I'm going to, so I feel like this skirt is a little tiny bit short for the occasion, 
but I do think that if you're going to, you know, like a, a fun Christmas party with your friends, you could easily dress up an ugly Christmas sweater with a really cute little skirt. This would also be good with a pair of stockings, again, and a pair of thigh-high boots. This one, I think, is absolutely beautiful because I really, really like that it's a light Christmas sweater. A lot of the Christmas sweaters in this haul are darker colours, so for me, having like a light kind of creamed coloured Christmas sweater is really, really nice. Now, the only problem with wearing it tucked into a skirt is that you do kind of kind of cut off the slogan a little bit but hey I feel like the design at the top here you know it sort of carries through the garment so it's fine it doesn't matter if you cut off the slogan it's not that funny you know it's just kind of obvious like you don't really need to tell people that this is your ugly Christmas sweater because they can see it for themselves so I really really like this this is definitely something that I would wear if I wasn't going to uh, Dan's mum's Christmas party so <laughs> keep that in mind dress up an ugly Christmas sweater with a cute skirt pretty lit. Speaking of lit, this next one is uh, looking very lit, if I don't say so myself. <laughs> this is a $60 sweater. Now, uh, you'll see exactly why I said it's lit. See the fireplace on it? It's not just any old fireplace. It is actually lit. And I'm not just trying to be trendy and cool by saying that. I mean, it has a battery pack in here, and you press the button, and it sings. But it's not very loud at all, I can hardly hear it. But it does light up. I don't know if you'll be able to tell uh, with all the lights on. It's a very, very dimly, dimly lit little fireplace, but the lights do kind of flash. Can, can you tell? I don't know if you can tell. Can you tell? Do you believe it? I'm wearing green! <laughs> it's uh, all of Archie's Christmases come true at once. He does not believe it. <laughs> are, you, are you okay? No, no, like, really, are you okay? It's, it's alright. <laughs> now, I wasn't entirely sure what to pair this one with because it is quite big and bulky. I didn't want to tuck it in, obviously, because it does have the fireplace here. So I just put it on with a little grey skirt underneath because I didn't want to detract. Like, there's a lot going on up here and I don't think that it needs any more sort of interesting, quirky patterns or anything at the bottom. So, yeah, just a little grey skirt. But tell me, how would you style this one? How, how would you dress this up or make it look cute? Maybe just a pair of black pants and some boots or something? I'm not sure. But anyway, this, this is what we're working with right now. So it's very, very warm. This is definitely the thickest out of all of them. It's got mistletoe all up the sleeves. It's got these cute little, well yeah, the little stockings and they actually, you can actually, I don't know, I guess you could put a lipstick or something in there. Could you? Huh. I'm a genius. What do you think? So there you go, you've got two teeny teeny tiny little pockets there for whatever lipstick or almonds or whatever you want to put in there. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear but there is this very, very, very tiny little Christmas carol playing from somewhere within this top, but it is so faint that it almost just sounds like, you remember when you're in school and you'd have those annoying ringtones and it would just be like the sound of a mosquito kind of thing? That's a little bit what's going on here and I kind of feel like that's why Archie's acting a little bit funny too, because he can hear it and he's like, what on earth? <laughs> this one, $60, that is a fair bit, but also I guess, like I said, it's pretty lit, so... I guess it justifies the cost, but it is very, very, very warm. So yeah, tell me how you guys would style this, because I'm a little bit, I'm just not sure how to work with this one. Next up we have another $40 sweater. This one is a little gingerbread man with no face, and it says, I can't feel my face when I'm with you. I'm living for these, like, would you call that a pun? Or is that just a really lame joke? I don't know. But I'm living for it. I, I think that's the epitome of ugly Christmas sweater. Like, you want people to read it and be like, ah, oh, ha, 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 see what you did there. So this one definitely nailed it. I'm excited to put on some red. I think red kind of suits me with my hair. Now, I didn't make the smartest hair decision today having a bun while trying on sweaters because I, I've literally ruined the bun. So please forgive me. But uh, anyway, I'm excited because I think the red will really suit me and this would definitely look cute with some red lipstick, so let's put it on. Okay, so this knit is a lot lighter than the other knit jumpers that I've tried on so far. I'm actually really, really leaning towards wearing this one tonight because I feel like I could definitely dress this up with some little red earrings, some red lipstick, maybe like a little red bow in my hair. Uh, I paired it with this little leather skirt. This is from Yes Style. This would also look nice tucked in, but I don't want the joke to be lost, so I would be happy to leave this one out. I've also paired it with some ooh, black thigh-high boots and black stockings as well, and I'm really, really loving this. I think that this is great. I love the combination of uh, 
red and black. So, oh, what are you doing? You what? You like it? Is this your favorite one? Hmm? Is it your favorite one? I think that this one has the Archie seal of approval for sure. Maybe it's something to do with the fact that it's red and uh, he has a bit of red under his wings up in here. I really, I think that this one is my favorite so far. I think the joke is really, really cute, really funny. It's easy to pair with things. Red again goes really easily with black. It could go with white, it could go with green. I think that this one's my favorite. Okay, this next one confuses me a bit because this is $70 and uh, <laughs> there's a lot of you out there that are going to hate this. You're gonna absolutely hate it because it is a dabbing Santa. Why is this $70? I don't understand. So this is more of a pullover. It's not knitted. It's more of just like a standard kind of sloppy joe pullover. It does feel extremely soft inside. I'll give it that. Like it's very, very soft. But I don't know why this is $70. Maybe it's like a, a, a well-known brand or something. I, I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway, it, it doesn't light up or anything like that. It's just, it's literally just a dabbing Santa. <laughs> Look, I, I really just got this to laugh at it, to be honest. When Dolls Kill said I could choose some Christmas-themed clothes, I was like, I'm gonna take it seriously, you know, I'm gonna get some really good stuff, but then I saw this and I was like, you just, you gotta put in one ironic, laughable item, right? <laughs> Do the Jake Paulers and the Logan Paulers go nuts for this sort of thing? I don't know. Okay, so I've just paired this one with this cute little red and black skirt. This is from an upcoming Uvini haul. These zippers, they actually, they zip up, so you can open it up to have the red exposed. And I just thought that the red and the black would be a perfect occasion to wear a red and a black skirt. I know, how original. <laughs> kind of like PewDiePie's content. Very original. This is the most comfortable thing out of everything. I do find that knitted sweaters can get a little bit scratchy, but this one is so soft on the inside, but like I said, $70, that is like 90 Australian dollars. In my head, I always have to convert things, to, ooh, sorry. I always have to convert things to Australian dollars because 70 US dollars, in my head, I'm like, oh yeah, $70, that's all right. But then I'm like, no, wait, no, that's that's a lot more in Australian dollars. So uh, I don't think that this one is worth it at all. But it's funny, but it's also stupid, and I love it, but I hate it. Does that make sense? What do you guys think? What do you guys think of dabbing? Like, let's just talk about dabbing for a second. Is this how you do it? I... Can you d can you dab, Archie? Can you dab? I think you just do this. <laughs> Who invented dabbing? Was it one of the Paul brothers? It sounds like something that they do. Anyway, I actually really like this outfit. I don't think that I'm gonna wear this tonight, but I do think that this would be kind of cool to wear just, you know, around. It's Christmas time, you gotta go to the shop. <coughs> do some Christmas shopping, that sort of thing. I can imagine wearing this out and about. Tell me what you guys think. What do you, what do you think? $70 for a dabbing Santa? <laughs> Next up, if you guys saw my Wish Christmas haul that I posted uh, yesterday or the day before or whenever it was, uh, this is the sweater that I was wearing. Now, I couldn't help myself because I had to film that video before I filmed this one and I was like, oh, I need something Christmassy to wear. And this was the first thing in the box that I pulled out. So this one is the Swipe Right top. It's got these cute little pom-poms all over it that Archie just cannot get enough of. Uh, I'm kind of scared to put this on again because Archie just becomes a possessed green demon every time I put this on. He just goes for the baubles. So anyway, just, just give me a sec. My hair is just getting progressively worse and worse and worse. So luckily this is the second last item. So uh, I've just paired this with white jeans. In yesterday's video, I was wearing it with black pants, so it's pretty versatile, but I thought it would look nice with white jeans because there's white on the sleeves. This one, I mean, I, I just love it. Like swipe right. Obviously, I'm engaged, so probably not sending the right message when I wear this out in public. <laughs> hey, if you're single and you're ready to Pringle, then maybe you might want this one to wear to a Christmas party, get a bit of attention, you know. I really like this design. I think it's really cute with the sleeves like this. It's very, like, elfish. Reminds me of a little Christmas elf. Again, the, the little baubles, I guess they're a nice added touch, as long as you don't have a, a little green gremlin trying to destroy them. Uh, I'm not going to leave this on for any longer because Archie is just... What's wrong with you? They're not edible. They're not. I swear. I swear. They're not berries. They're not almonds. They're not toys. They're, they're part of my clothing, Archie. This one is $58, by the way, which is really random considering the others are like 40 or 50 or 60, but this one is 
58. Like, that's very specific. I don't know why it's 58. Again, it is pricey, but I think this is really, really cute. I think this is a really lovely design, and it does feel pretty well made as well. I mean, Archie's been going at this for the past two days, hasn't been able to pull it off yet, so I guess that says a lot for the longevity of the baubles. Oh, uh, no! <laughs> Okay, <laughs> on to the last item. <laughs> okay, the last item has turned out to be a, a really, really great surprise. When I saw this on the website, I thought to myself, mm, that's gonna be like a Halloween costume. It's gonna be like really, really skimpy and probably not appropriate. But now that I'm wearing it, it's actually really, really nice. The length of it is perfect. It's not short at all. Like my bum's up here. So there's plenty of length there. I have it paired with, again, the same black thigh high boots. So I'm feeling very, very like, Mean Girls, or a little bit, uh, thank you, next. This is called the, uh, Mrs. Claus dress or something like that, and it is $48. I think it's worth every cent. I absolutely adore it. It's really, really comfortable. It's not too hot for me here in summer. Like I said, this is fine. I guess if you're in a colder climate, you'll need a coat, you'll need stockings, things like that. But the hood, this is adorable. I also kind of feel a little bit like something out of Star Wars. Do it. In the pictures, they actually show it with a little petticoat, and that would be really, really nice to sort of uh, puff out the skirt a little bit. But even as it is, it's really, oh, it's so beautiful. The only problem was that the belt, the belt was quite big for my waist, and I just had to kind of like punch a hole in it there, because for a size small, it would almost be like going around the hips, but it's intended to be around your waist. So I guess you'll just kind of have to sort yourself out with the belt, whether you need it to be wider or smaller. But aside from that, everything about this is perfect. I'm gonna leave the hood on because, look, I, I took my hair out of the bun and it doesn't look so fantastic. You, you dropped something. You dropped something. Yeah, that's yours. Here, I'm just gonna put it back. Let me just, let me just put it back. There you go. Much better. And before I forget, there is one last thing. These socks, these were $8 and I couldn't help myself. They're just really, really cute. Sort of, I guess they're halfway up the calf. They're really, really pretty, but I'm not gonna put them on now because I think that this is the outfit that I'm going to wear to the party tonight and I have to go. I have to race out the door. So after I get home from the party, I'm gonna be editing this video. I'm gonna be up all night, but I really, really wanna get this posted before Christmas. Now, like I said, I know you guys won't be able to order this stuff in time for Christmas, but if they have sales on, they'll probably have sales on, you know, after Christmas where they reduce all of this stuff. So it could be a good time to pick it up. Oh, oh, do, do you like it, Archie? Yeah. So anyway, guys, that's it. That's everything. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I hope you enjoy your Christmas if you celebrate. If you don't, hope you have a great end of year. And with that, we'll see you next time. Mwah!